stay with uh, the 2024 metric results. And there's been mixed reaction to the increase in maths and uh, science. In fact, the, the minister quite concerned about this because there are fewer pupils that have, first of all, taken the subject last year. Let's discuss this now with the University of Johannesburg Maths and Science Technology Professor uh, Sam Ramaila. Uh, professor, good evening to you and thank you very much for your time. Where do you think is the problem? Because now we even have a, a new habit, if I could call it that, and that is that of totally avoiding these difficult subjects, uh, maths and science. Where do you think the problem is? Uh, <laughs> thank you, Goli, for having me, and good evening to uh, the viewers at home. Uh, Goli, the, the principal of uh, Mbilu High School uh, made some very interesting uh, points about, you know, the quality of mathematics and science education in South Africa. And, and I think he gave a very excellent example of, you know, a solid foundation that is normally required to build uh, to build a house. Mm. So um, a lot, remember, a lot of uh, learners are actually uh, entering high school you know, with a weak foundation in mathematics and science. And um, this is actually leading to a situation where these learners will indulge in, you know, superficial, you know, engagement with content. And, and remember, without a solid foundation in math and science, it becomes very difficult for these learners to uh, cope effectively with the cognitive demands of this complex uh, subject. So the, the problem is that unless we actually build a very solid foundation at, 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 at the primary, at the ACT level, so, so in, in terms of, um, you know, providing robust, you know, interventions that are geared towards, uh, you know, building strong numeracy and scientific literacy skills, this problem is likely to, to remain for the foreseeable future. Yeah. International maths and science competitions, we are not looking good, Professor. The understanding is that the latest that we participated in, we became or we came number last. And the Asian countries are having a field day there because they are simply just uh, acing these subjects. How can we improve? Absolutely. And, and if you look at the 2023 uh, benchmark uh, standardized survey, it clearly showed that South Africa actually uh, came out uh, last out of uh, the 59 countries that were, that were ranked. And, and this is a, a clear demonstration of the fact that uh, our learners, and that, that was actually the, the learners who participated were grade, uh, grade five. And, and these are the learners who are essentially uh, at the foundation level. And, and um, you know, the results emanating from this survey are clearly uh, reflecting, you know, pervasive knowledge gaps that are actually confronting, uh, confronting these students. And if you look at the, at the Asian countries, the Asian countries are technologically advanced and they are actually uh, embracing technological, I mean, digital transformation to um, as, as a scaffolding tool to make sure that they lay a solid foundation in mathematics and science at the foundation level. Yeah. Final question to you, sir. There is, though, great improvement despite uh, the, the math and science question mark, and we'll leave it at that, but there is great improvement in the production of bachelor passes, particularly from Quintal 1 schools. That is in the far-flung areas of some of these provinces. What do you think the department has managed to do right in this instance? And, and this, is, this is actually uh, quite encouraging. I mean, clearly, if you look at the, the, the overall pic national picture, all the provinces are actually, uh, they've actually managed to, uh, you know, achieve 80% uh, pass rate. So this implies that a lot of provinces are actually working very hard. But uh, this, this um, you know, commendable, you know, achievement can largely be attributed to the fact that uh, the teachers are actually demonstrating a lot of professional commitment to their, you know, responsibilities. And um, I would imagine the implementation of innovative learner support programs uh, in the form of uh, after-school tutoring systems are actually yielding, are actually yielding good results. Now, if you look clearly at, um, you know, a, a shiny example of the free state, the free state has over the years been you know, implementing um, targeted professional teacher development interventions. And these interventions were actually uh, coupled with uh, learner support programs. Mm -hmm. And these are actually yielding, you know, commendable results. And, and the education miracle 
that is actually happening in the free state is something to marvel about. So I think the uh, provision of, of, of um, you know, sustainable uh, targeted teacher development, professional development uh, programs and the provision of learner support programs and, and with a view of ensuring that teachers are actually empowered you know, to embrace digital transformation so that some of the digital tools can actually be used uh, to uh, demystify, you know, complex, uh, you know, scientific concepts in mathematics and science. So I think these are just some of the um, efforts, you know, that, that are being made by teachers uh, all over the country to ensure that uh, we, we are actually celebrating this, this result uh, today. Yeah, a quick throwaway question before I end the conversation. The use of mother tongue language to teach at schools do you is that something that is of consequence to you or do you think that not really very interesting question Goli. i mean we have a lot of master students and phd students who have actually uh, conducted research on great teaching and uh, the results i mean uh, it is that these research studies have actually demonstrated that the use of teaching can actually lead to uh, enhanced academic performance. So uh, it's a known fact, <laughs> and this is it's actually been uh, demonstrated in research that code switching is actually effective. Also given the fact that uh, we are actually dealing with uh, essentially abstract scientific concepts in both uh, science uh, and mathematics as uh, scientific domains. Interesting response indeed, Professor Sam Ramaila. Thanks indeed for your time, University of Johannesburg's uh, Maths, Science and Technology faculty.